we go. Okay. First thing we're going to do is weigh out between 1.25 and 1.45 grams of anhydrous sodium carbonate. So to start with we put the weighing boat onto the balance and then press the tear key, the orange one, which sets the balance back to zero. So then using the spatula I add sodium carbonate So that's where pretty much between the two. So I record that I've weighed 1.359 grams of sodium carbonate. Okay, now we've got the weighed sodium carbonate. So we've now got to dissolve it and put it into a 250 centimeter cube flask. So first of all, I add some distilled water, about 75 centimetres cubed should be fine, it's only a rough measurement. Then I add the sodium carbonate and there's still a little bit left stuck to the weighing boat. So I then use the wash bottle to rinse the weighing boat and wash any remaining bits in. Then I need to stir to dissolve the sodium carbonate. Now sodium carbonate is fairly soluble so it usually dissolves quite easily but you may get some little bits down in the bottom that form hard lumps which you need to crush with the glass rod. So once you ensure everything is dissolved, you can then place it into the flask. If, despite mixing it thoroughly, it still doesn't dissolve, you can always add a bit more water to make sure it does dissolve. So then, using a funnel, we pour the solution into the flask. And again, we wash the beaker with more distilled water. Then we've got to fill the flask up to the calibration line, which is the white or brown line on the flask here. So what we want to do is to fill it up nearly to that line first of all. So I'll add a bit more distilled water.
once it reaches the neck of the flask, it goes up very quickly. So once I get close to the line, the best thing is to add the last few centimetres cubed using a dropper so you've got much more control. So and when I'm within a few millimetres of the line what I need to do is look at it at eye level and add the solution drop by drop until the curve of the meniscus is on the, the bottom of the meniscus curve wants to be on the line of the flask. So now we just check that the bottom of the meniscus curve is exactly on the line. We're putting a dark background behind it to make it easier to see. If you go over the line, you're going to have to start all over again. Okay. One thing just to watch out for is that not every flask is exactly the same size. So the lines on the flask can be in different places. So just watch out for that when you get your flask that you know where the line is on your particular flask. What you've got here is your sodium carbonate is all down at the bottom and up at the top is practically pure distilled water. So you now need to make sure that you invert the flask several times until you're sure that it is completely mixed.